Hey, sports card fans, it's John Wade Boggs fan. Hope you're all doing well. Prior to the Strongsville show, I picked up another card off of my 100 cards for $10,000 list. Although there was a time when I thought that the card would never get to me, and I'll talk about that uh, in a little bit here, but I'm really glad that it came. Love the card, so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show off card number eight off of my 100 cards for $10,000, the 1968 Tops Ernie Banks. All right, here it is, the 1968 Tops Ernie Banks. Picked it up in a PSA 5. Really love the centering on the front. Registration's nice, colors are nice. I don't know, I can't believe it's a five. There's probably some issues with the corners, but again, with the 68 tops, a lot of the corner issues are sort of hidden by that burlap bag um, border. Here's the back. Again, really nice back as well. Nicely centered. Really happy with this PSA 5. Uh, before I get into the numbers behind it, as I normally do on these sort of uh, countdown uh, or pickup videos off my 100 cards for $10,000 list. I want to tell the, the background story of this card. This was a, an eBay auction. And if, you're, if you do a lot of buying on eBay, you know that uh, in some cases when you pay for a card, um, it may be after uh, the post office has closed, but uh, the seller can generate a tracking number and mark it as shipped. But of course, the post office hasn't picked it up. And sometimes it may take a day or two, depending on the seller's schedule and how often they go to uh, the post office. Uh, would it get picked up and then starting the normal tracking process and you can follow the card? Well, it had been several days and it still showed up as the post office not receive or the US post office not receiving the package yet from the seller even though there was a tracking number uh, now this has happened a couple times for me when i've purchased some bogs cards uh, they'll send it in a plain white envelope it'll technically have a tracking number but it really doesn't go through uh, the tracking process through the post office and sometimes I've received the card and technically it still shows up as the post office not even picking up the item. But I knew this one here was not going to be sent in a plain white envelope. So I kept waiting and I kept waiting and it was about a week where I hadn't noticed any movement on the shipment of this card. And so I went to send the seller a message. And that's when I realized that the seller had less than 200 feedback. It was all positive, but less than 200 feedback. And the and within the last 12 months, he only had two pos positive feedbacks at all. That was it. Two in the last 12 months. And he didn't have any other items for sale. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, I'm not going to get this card. But I messaged the seller and I was very nice. I said, hey, I noticed, you know, I bought the card or paid for the card on this day. You know, the next day you had marked it as shipped with a tracking number, but it still shows up that the post office has not received it. Uh, have you mailed the card out yet? So again, I was very nice just inquiring about the card. And he replied that uh, his wife gave birth to their child early. Uh, so I guess his wife was pregnant and had the baby a little bit more or earlier than they had originally anticipated. So of course, his time was spent uh, with his wife and their new child. So I congratulated him. I, I said, I hope the mom and baby are doing well. He got back to me, said, yes, they are. And he dropped off the card at the post office like the next day and it was within three days that I got the card 
So I'm happy for the seller uh, with a, a new child, happy that I got the card. I was originally worried that I may have to reach out to eBay and possibly end up getting my money back and not the card, but thankfully everything went well. So let's get into the numbers here for this card. Now, when I put this card on my 100 card list, I had it at a PSA 7, and I thought I would need to spend around $100 for a PSA 7. Well, obviously, I got a PSA 5. Now, this was, as I said, an auction, and with the winning bid plus shipping and tax, I was in it for only $45. So I saved from what I thought, you know, with the card and the grade that I had on the list, um, I saved over half. I saved $55 by dropping down to a five. And as for the price I paid for a five, again, all in price, uh, the current range for a PSA five on the low end is $30. Uh, the average is $44, and on the high end, it's $55. But these numbers, those numbers come from uh, VCP. Now, in VCP's database, they only look at the uh, you know, buy it now price or the winning auction price. They don't factor in what shipping and tax is. So for an average card price uh, for a PSA 5 of 44, and I'm in for 45, uh, that's even including shipping and tax. So I got this basically for under the average comp for a PSA 5, so I think I did really good. Now, since this is the eighth card off of my list that I've picked up, for those eight cards, I had anticipated spending based on the grade I had it on the list. I thought I would have to spend $700. Well, for the total of eight cards that I've picked up so far, I've only spent $395. So I am $305 to the good of what I, would, I thought I would have to spend for those eight cards. So the savings keep piling up, uh, which is good for my budget, which means I can spend money on other cards and still pick up a great example. Um, it's one of those things where I don't need a PSA 7 of this card. I mean, to me, if, you, if I showed you this card and did not show the label, I bet you some of you thought it could have been a PSA 7, uh, especially the centering and the back. Again, maybe just some issues around the corners, but that is fine with me. So with that, I uh, would love to know what you think about this 1968 Topps Ernie Banks pick up the eighth card on my 100 cards for one or ten thousand dollar list and with that that's all i have for you so until next time thanks for watching